Hello, um, right, this is about the fifth attempt at today's video. The reason I haven't made many videos last week was because um, I've got relatives staying and I keep getting interrupted and I'm hoping to goodness I don't get interrupted. I need to put a sign on my office wind office door, please do not uh, make noise around this door or something like that. Anyway, so um, I wanted to make this video today to explain um, how important it is to disregard people that tell you not to trade on bank holidays. The Americans are off, the British are off, it's Bank Holiday Monday here in the UK. And um, and um, the importance of understanding that trade patterns, these indicators and the, and the moving averages if you like, or the candlesticks if you just want to be a naked trader with naked candlesticks, the patterns they produce are repeatable regardless of whether it's a slow day, a busy day or whatever. Personally I prefer slow grinding days so I like bank holidays, I like New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, whatever um, if the markets are open. I can't remember whether they open on New Year's Day or not but you know some of the best trades I've had, the most relaxing, enjoyable if you like trades I've had have been on so-called non-trade days. Um, and that's because of these patterns. So, as you can clearly see, we've had a massive one hour downtrend uh, here. This is a pullback against the hourly. Normally, my checklist would say, well, yellow above purple, I want to be going long, but it's not just crossed over. I would want to be going long after a cross. That's why I sometimes have the arrows on this chart, sometimes I don't. And we can clearly see. Uh, I can't trade, consider going long until we've had the oversold. Um, thing here, so this was the perfect area to be trying to go long on the hourly chart. So I don't want to be looking at longs. We're at a level of support and resistance here. Um, this is uh, some sort of support area here, here, and we can clearly see we're at that. Now, if we'd broken, the only way I could consider going long, in my opinion, would be break above this high here, and then um, possibly on the five-minute time frame, wait for a, a pullback and a and a, and a continuation. Um, so, bearing in mind, I'd had a look at the euro, US dollar, and that was um, at about 17 pips on the daily range. That's another checklist item. Uh, daily range was so it's going to go one way or the other because it, it's not going to move 20 pips in a day. It's going to like this might be the maximum it will move, but it's definitely going to move away from 17 pips where it was first thing this morning. Didn't want to trade this because A, I'd have to wait for the signal to arrive and it wasn't going to happen for a few hours. US CAD was set, setting up to do what I wanted it to do, so I concentrated on the price action with CAD. No point. Make your decision to stick with the chart and uh, and then stick with it. So dropping down the time frames are now looking for short, really short or long. As long if it starts to break up this way here. Short if I start to break uh, down. This is a support level. Clearly made a high high there. Broke the high of that. So that's a strong level of support there. If you break through that support, then it's like. Li highly likely we're going down. We're not really looking at the MAs at this point because they don't really um, relate to anything. Obviously it's affected the price but they're self-fulfilling prophecies uh, in many respects. I just want to be entering after a crossover, close to a crossover, using the indicators um, of my choice. You can put any old indicator on here um, but for, for the purpose of this I'll stick to the ones I've been using for the last few videos. Now, <clears throat> we can clearly see we have got the crossover here. This is the 15 minute. Again, uh, I'm just looking at the, the way the candlesticks are setting up here. Not really um, anything other than that. We've dropped below the support. I can clearly see this is acting as support and this uh, 75, 3075 level here, 1.3075 should I say. Got 25 pips to the new 75 level. Uh, 25 level so now I'm getting near where I want to be on the uh, five minute chart and um, clearly the crossover there this is the first pullback to the um, <clears throat> to the moving average this is the first time we've got uh, an oversold we couldn't have considered entering here because we weren't yellow below purple uh, we hadn't had the cross at no point did this uh, give an indication that I wanted to go short here either uh, we're too far away from the purple moving average. I want to be trading off of that like here and here and possibly here. Um, should I have con considered a continuation but I don't do that as a rule now. 
Um, so I don't try and because again we've not we're nowhere near the cross. These are just continuation moves. It's the first move I want to be getting into really, um, and always remember that because far too often I've got caught coming in late on a trade, considering going, and then lo and behold it reverses on me. It's the first move is the move that's going to give you the the safest trade. So because after the cross I'm talking about. So at this point here I'm looking at the um, eighty. Um, 80 to change along with the um, 8 to change and uh, remember I talk about this cup as it were the, the, the point the um, CCI 80 starts to increase in value after it's closed of course because that, you know you can't enter it when it drops below because it could easily reverse on itself they're non repainting repainting these indicators so in other words it doesn't change after the candles closed uh, so that went down to 43 from 39 that was it really I'd had my over oversold for my stop I want to be above a support level remember we're going back to test support to see it hold as resistance so somewhere up around here which puts me at about, I entered at about the 75 level, the open of the candle here, remember, after that close, after that one, and uh, 85, so 10 pip stop, oh sorry, it's the yellow, 88, I like to have a 15, 20 pip stop maximum, I'm happy to go for uh, 7 to 10 pips, I went for 7 on this one this morning because it's such a, it's not a very volatile pair like GJ or EJ that will give you an average daily range of somewhere around 200, 170 or more even. Um, so I've just gone for 7, seven pips uh, net and uh, that was it, job done. was slow, it didn't hit my target before pulling back here so it's a bit annoying and uh, so I saw it go into profit then I saw it pull back and, uh, and then I saw it drift down and hit my target. Now. All you have to do is once you've picked your trade, once you've entered your trade, put your take profit or whatever you want out of it and put your stop loss and let, uh, just walk away. Just let it do its stuff. And that's it. So, 7 pips profit, 15 pips stop loss and uh, we followed all the instructions and it was a bank holiday trade. That's stress-free trading for you, all as stress-free as possible. Thanks for watching.